Hi friends, are you ready for church? I'm so glad you're here today. In our Bible adventure today, we are going to learn about sharing Jesus with the whole world. At home, on the playground, and here's my picture of the whole world. I bet I know what you're thinking. We're staying home a lot right now. We're doing school at home. We're even having church at home. How are we supposed to share Jesus when we don't go anywhere? I have a few ideas for you boys and girls, but let's watch our Bible adventure first and I'll tell you about them right after, okay? I'll see you in a few. Dear Emily, I'd love to see you. Oh, hi friends. I just got some really good news. <laughs> we. Hiya, Emily. Hiya, friends. Shine, wanna hear some really good news? Yes, what is it? I just got a letter from my brother and he invited me to come visit him. That is good news. <sighs> I just love sharing good news. <laughs> me too. Just like when we tell others how God sent his son Jesus. That's God's good news. Yeah, but Shine, you already know about Jesus. So I have a question. Who should I share Jesus with? Let's go on a Bible adventure to find out. Friends, shake your hands high in the sky if you'll go with me. Woohoo! <laughs> Friends, pretend to put your adventure bags on. I've got mine right here. I know some great picture passes for our Bible adventure. <gasps> Friends, you and I will be picture pass guessers together. Here's your first clue. It's something that tells you how to get where you want to go. Hmm. Friends, which picture pass is it? Great job, friends. It's the map. Catch it in your adventure bags. Shine, what's next? This one is outside. You go there to play with your friends. Hmm. Friends, which one do you think it is? Friends, you're great guessers. It is the park. Yes. Catch it in your adventure bags. Now for the last one. It tells us when it's time to go, go, go. Hmm, friends, which one is Shine talking about? You've got it. It is the green light go. Catch it in your adventure bags. Count with me, friends. One, two, three. Yep, they're all here. Let's zip our adventure bags together. Now, now it's, it's time, time to, to fly. fly. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Shine, Jesus is God's good news. So what's the answer to our question? Who should I share Jesus with? The Bible can help us. The Bible is God's book for you. You can trust. It's right and true. <gasps> Journeys for Jesus. That story's from the book of Acts in the Bible. This story is about Paul. Let's see who he shared Jesus with. <laughs> Paul believed that God wanted him to tell Gentiles about Jesus. So he made three trips through Syria, Turkey, and Greece. Many people believed in Jesus, and many churches were started. Years later, Paul returned to Jerusalem. Some people were upset by his teaching and attacked him. He was unfairly arrested. Since Paul was a Roman citizen, he asked for his trial to be in Rome. Paul was put on a boat headed for Rome. The trip was slow. Let's wait in Crete until the stormy season is over. Paul suggested. The captain sailed ahead anyway. There was a huge storm. Everyone thought they would die. An angel told Paul that they would all be saved and he would get to Rome. Paul told the others. Someone spotted land. The sailors planned to abandon ship and let the others die. Paul warned, 
You will survive only if everyone stays aboard. The boat crashed on an island called Malta. The soldiers were afraid of being punished if the prisoners escaped, so they decided to kill them. But their commander liked Paul, so he ordered his men to let them live. They staggered ashore. Just as Paul had said, everyone was alive. The ruler of Malta let them stay with him. His father was sick. When Paul prayed for him, God healed him. They boarded another ship and went to Rome, where Paul was chained in a house. While there, he wrote letters to teach the new churches around the world. His letters are now included in the Bible. Paul took three long trips to faraway places to tell people about Jesus. And he was shipwrecked. Still, Paul didn't let anything stop him from sharing Jesus. I think I know the answer to our question, but I'm going to go ask Guy the Bible Guy just to be sure. Great idea! See ya, Emily! See ya, Shine! Come on! <laughs> Hi, Emily! Hi, Guy! I have a question for you. Who should I share Jesus with? Share Jesus with everyone! Guy, that's the answer! The Bible tells us to share Jesus with everyone all over the world. But what if we've never been all over the world? How will we know where to go? <sighs> Wait a second. I think I have a picture pass about this. Friends, which picture pass shows you how to get where you want to go? Super job, friends. It's the map. <laughs> Paul traveled all over to share God's good news with everyone. I just watched a Bible story about Paul. Paul did what Jesus told us to do. I want to do that too. I want to tell everyone about Jesus. Do you have a Bible verse about that? Sure do. Friends, wiggle your ears if you're ready to learn a verse with me. I'm wiggling my ears. Are you wiggling yours? Okay, listen to what the Bible says. Mark 16, 15. Go, go, go! into all the world and preach the good news to everyone. <laughs> Friends, repeat with me. Mark 16, 15. Mark 16, 15. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Into all the world. Into all the world. And preach the good news to everyone and preach the good news to everyone. Great job, friends, you've got it. Now say the whole verse with us. Mark 16, 15. Go, go, go. Into all the world and preach the good news to everyone. Friends, you've got it. Thanks so much. Bye, guy. Bye, Emily. Bye, friends. <laughs> Come on. Amazing! <laughs> Let's see. I packed my PJs, my toothbrush, my favorite blanket, bug bites in case I get hungry. Hey, Blinky, what you doing? Getting ready for a long trip. Oh, yeah? Where are you going? I'm gonna go, go, go and tell people everywhere about Jesus. But first, I gotta go tell my mommy I'm leaving. See ya, Shine. Blinky, you don't have to go far away to tell people about Jesus. But we have to tell the whole world. I better get started. You can start sharing Jesus right here, right now. But Shine, you already know about Jesus. So does Cloudette and Zinnia and Mr. Stone. What about your friends at school? At the Bugs in a Rug daycare? That's a super-de-duper idea. And your family? I have some cousins who don't know about Jesus. 
Yeah, and I don't know if my Uncle Spark knows them or not. <laughs> Great! You can tell them, too. But Shine, I feel kind of shy about telling my family. Friends, do we need to feel shy about sharing Jesus with others? <laughs> That's right! You don't have to be shy. Jesus is God's good news. You're right, Shine. I'm gonna pray right now for God to help me go, 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 share Jesus with everyone I know, know, know. Dear God, please help me share Jesus with everyone, everywhere I go. In Jesus' name, amen. friends. The map tells us how to get where we want to go. And I want to go, go, go tell everyone about Jesus. It's like our Bible verse says, Mark 16, 15. Go, go, go into all the world and preach the good news to everyone. <laughs> Rizlin Razzles, that sounds like a song. Let's go to Mr. Music's singing studio to find out. Come on! Oh, hi, Emily. What question are you finding the answer to today? Who should I share Jesus with? Share Jesus with everyone. That's <laughs> right, Mr. Music. And Paul traveled to lots of places to tell others about Jesus. He did. But does that mean you have to go on a trip to share Jesus? No, no way! way. <laughs> you can share God's good news wherever you go. Like at the grocery store or, or soccer practice. Oh, oh, or, or when I'm playing with my friends. Right! Playtime is a great time to share Jesus with your friends. I have a picture pass about that. Friends, which picture pass is a place you can go to play with your friends? That's right, friends. It's the park. Yes. The park is a great place to share the good news about Jesus. Where are some more places that I can share Jesus with others? I know a song about that. Friends, clap your hands together if you'd like to sing a song with me. I'm clapping my hands. Are you clapping yours? Okay. This time, you're gonna start the song by singing, I can share Jesus. It goes just like this. I can share Jesus. <laughs> now you try. I can share Jesus. <laughs> Again. I can share Jesus. Louder. I can share Jesus. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Now let's sing the whole song together. You ready? Here we go. I can share Jesus at the park. I can share Jesus at the store. I can share Jesus at my friend's house. I can share Jesus with my family at home. <laughs> Here we go. I can share Jesus at my daycare. I can share Jesus at my school. I can share Jesus at the bus stop. I can share Jesus with my whole neighborhood. <laughs> Time to go, go, go. I share God's good news. I share God's good news. Everyone needs Jesus. Everyone needs Jesus. I share God's good news. I share God's good news. Everyone needs Jesus. Everyone needs Jesus. I can share Jesus with everyone. Yeah! <laughs>
at my friend's house. I can share Jesus with my family at home. Time to go, go, go. go. I share God's good news. I share God's good news. Everyone needs Jesus. Everyone needs Jesus. I share God's good news. I share God's good news. Everyone needs Jesus. Everyone needs Jesus. I can share Jesus. I can share Jesus. I can share Jesus with everyone. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing! Now, stand up on your feet to worship God with singing, music, and dancing. Well, hey guys, thank you for joining us. We're gonna sing, we're gonna dance today. I have some friends that are gonna help us out. So come on, feel free to join in. Let's go. There is freedom. There is freedom in your name. We will never be the same.
keeper that you are there for us Lord always we can trust in you we can put our hope in you we thank you for that we pray all this in Jesus name amen hey you're back I love to worship don't you Earlier, I told you I had some ideas about how to share Jesus when we all have to stay home so much. I know you are all so good at drawing pictures. I have some of your pictures hanging in my office. Did you know you could draw a picture about Jesus and ask your family to mail it to a friend? 
or they could take a picture of it and put it on Facebook for lots of people to see. That's sharing Jesus. For my friends that know how to write words, you could ask your family to help you write out our memory verse and mail it to a friend or post a picture of it. That's sharing Jesus too. Boys and girls, there are lots of ways to share Jesus. Talk to your family about how you can share Jesus today. I loved spending time with you today. Families, here is this week's memory verse. Have fun learning this with your little ones and make sure to check in on Tuesdays and Fridays for more fun. I look forward to seeing you next week. See you soon.